James Helder, Eiffel TV, in association with MTK Global. With me, I've got promoter Frank Warren. We're in our regular spot of Fredericks today. Just had a nice spot of lunch with two of the guiding lights of the channel. Um, none other than Anthony Yard and Daniel Dubois. F firstly, how are you, Frank? Um, excellent. Cool. Uh, really, yeah, good, excited, and uh, really pleased in the direction we're moving at the moment. Now I'm going to start on current affairs this week. Bradley Skeet in action defending his British title in Brentwood against Shane Singleton. Stacked card there as well. Let's have a little bit of a rundown on that if possible, mate. Well, it's, a, it's a great card they put together on it, uh, the Wan Boys, and it's uh, it should be. I think it's going to be great, great for the fans on the night. And uh, Bradley's got to go out there and do the business, and then then he's got to move upwards, you know. British titles and all that are all great, but then we, he needs to move up. He's got to start moving his career up. That's, that's the way forward. So please God he comes through, and then we've got to look for a real big fight for him. Been a bit of needle between him and Singleton as well, so obviously for our point of view from the press and the people watching it, obviously makes for an interesting encounter, a little bit spicier, shall we, we say? We like spice, we like spice, and the fans like spice, and they like competitiveness, and that's that's uh, fantastic for, for everybody, certainly be you know, it'll add to it on the night. You've also got your show coming up in Belfast, Jamie Conlon back in action, he's said to be one of the leading lights in Belfast and putting on very entertaining fights. Paddy Barnes, the leprechaun as well, fighting for his first title, a WBO European title. So, interesting card coming in Belfast also. It's an excellent card, and you know, um, with Jamie, I mean, he couldn't be in a bad fight if he tried. He's just a very entertaining fighter, and you know, he's the spearhead in uh, the boxing revival in Belfast, which we're pleased to be part of, and I'm looking forward to Paddy as well, who's, who's stepping up. And uh, they're setting it all up very nicely for the, for the new season. And uh, hopefully they come through their fights okay and we'll be doing some really good stuff in the new season. Uh, you know, Jamie, I'd like to see him in a world title fight and we're moving hard to make that happen for him. Let's talk a little bit about the show that's captured everyone's imagination. Mad Men, Billy Joe Saunders defending his WBO world title against Avondale Kurtzidze. Someone are we familiar with fans of Box Nation and the channel with his win over Tommy Langford last time out here in the UK. How excited are you to be staging that event? Well, very. I mean, it's, it's sort of become more of a fight, seeing as uh, that he beat Tommy Langford, because uh, it's so that's going to make adds a bit more spice to it. You know, Bill Bill's got to be top of his game. This guy's not coming to roll over. He's a tough, tough guy. He's an awkward sod. He's short. He's you know he's he's fit as anything, uh, and you know, he's coming to win. He's not coming to just make up the numbers. Um, and Bill, if Bill's not top of his game, then he's going to have a big problem with this this fella. He needs to focus on it. He needs to be right, and uh, it's very important for him to stay in the mix. There's a big fight happening in September um, with Alvarez and Golovkin, and he needs to be in a position where he can challenge the winner of that fight. As well as having Billy Joe Saunders on the card, there's also some great 50-50 fights. We've seen a senior Byfield will be defending his Southern Area title against Sam McNess. Yep. Sam McNess 7-0 stepping up to face for his first title. Anthony Yard challenging for the WBO European title again, yep. which is an interesting fight. Yep. Um, there's another fight that interests me as well. Just been announced. Gary Corcoran versus Larry Eckendale. Isn't that a good fight? What a I don't fight want that, that to slip under the radar. You know, Gary's a, Gary is a tough, tough guy. I like Gary. He's never involved in a dull fight. He comes to fight. You know, he's got a winning mentality, and uh, he's in with a, he's in with a, a, a you know a very very good opponent. So that's got the hallmarks of being a you know a real um, pick and fight. And I hope that Gary comes through through in the fight. You know, Gary's a, you know he's been <laughs> he's been involved in some good fights, and he needs you know if he can get wins this one, then I think he'll set him up for, a, for some big fights. Interesting enough, we saw, we saw him in a great fight against Liam Williams at light like, middleweight. Yeah. Now I mean, back at welterweight to face Larry yeah. Ekido, who no one really wants to fight, let's be honest. He, he's an awkward character, is Larry. You're absolutely right about that. But as I say, with um, with Gary, you know, he's had gloves, will travel, and he'll fight anybody because he's a Fantastic proper, actually. true professional. He's got a great attitude. <laughs> when I meet with him, comes to the office, all it is, I want to fight him, I want to fight him, he wants to fight everybody, he'd, he'd fight them all on one night if he had his way, he's a good kid, he's a nice nice guy and he's a fighting man. We've seen the to and fro beginning between the two Liam, Liam Smith and Liam Williams, the animosity building, obviously the tension from the first one and the result and the, the, the sort of, yeah, the animosity that's followed that. How well, it's no we love loss, let's that? get it right, it's no love loss and, uh, and I think it's a controversial ending as such. You know, if, was it was it going to be a turn in the fight where Liam Smith was coming back into it? Because he certainly was looking at that stage. You know, he, 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 he was sort of, you know, you know, looked to me to, to be changing the way the fight was going. Um, 
clash of heads, was it accidental, you know, the whole thing about it. But the bottom line is, they'll find out next time around. We're announcing the date uh, next week, and uh, the fight's on. It's a good fight, it's a quality fight. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. You know, the two Liams are, are two lovely fellas, they're two real serious fighting men. They want to fight and they know that the winner of this puts himself in a position where if Cotto wins the title, because the WBI have ordered the Cotto fight, if Cotto wins the title, then they will be, whoever wins that fight will be his mandatory. So there's a lot going for him. To, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a you know, big opportunity for the winner. A little bit on Terry Flanagan, we know he's got his mandatory in Vadejo coming up. Um, what is going to go on with Terry? Do you see him fulfilling that mandatory commitment? Well, he has to. If he doesn't, I mean, a mandatory is a mandatory, so you have to you have, you have to take the mandatory. You can't be um, off of not fulfilling that obligation. So Terry will do it. I'm talking to Bob Aaron at the moment and working out where the fight will take place. Now we spoke today about Daniel Dubois a little bit. You've told me today um, off camera that you're interested in potentially going to change the ruling that fighters under the 20, age of 21 can be eligible to fight for a British title. Daniel Dubois being um, obviously the keen exception to that rule, can you explain to me what's going well, on? Well, I, I don't think it should be about age. I think it should be about ability. You know, I mean, you've got to look at it this way. You can fight for a world title at 19 or 20, but you can't fight for a British title. And that can't be right. It should be about ability. And the border controller are mature and sensible enough to decide whether a boxer is ready to fight for a British title or not. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about Huey Fury. There was a lot of sort of up, up in the air as to what's going to happen with him. We've seen the rankings. He's still number one in the rankings to face for that WBO title. Is there any news on, on what's well, going to go with him on? and Parker? Yeah. Well, that, that, that fight, I, I believe that fight will take place in the UK, the way things are going. There's a lot of negotiations going on. But in the meantime, Huey will be fighting uh, in July. He's going to have a... a Fight in July as a warm up for the fight that take place in September between him and uh, and Parker. Have you had running negotiation contact with Duco Promotions? I've been talking with Bob, Bob Aram, who, who, um, who represents them, and we're quite close to getting something over the line. Okay, okay. What other fights excite you within your stable? What are you looking at? What what do you want I'm to make? I'm looking forward to seeing Anthony Yard stepping up to fight for the uh, the uh, BO European. He's fighting a guy who's 18 and one. He's only lost one fight, so that's going to be a big step up for him. I'm looking forward to that. Um, you know, there's quite a few fights. I'm looking forward to the the rematch between uh, uh, Smile and, uh, and Williams. Good I job you mentioned. I forgot to mention. How can you forget fight. that? That was Great that's fight. a contender of domestic fight of the year. So I'm looking forward to that. That's on the 8th of July. You know, it's another it's another really good fight added to that card. Fair These play to fight. Williams for taking that rematch yeah, as well. Yeah, absolutely for both of them. They're, again, they're fighting men and. Again, it's a fighting card. You're a fight fan, come and sit. They're good fights, they're cracking fights, it's a great atmosphere. You're going to enjoy it. On that note, Frank Warren, thank you very much for all to our TV. Always a pleasure. Thank you, James. Always a pleasure to meet you. And we'll see you in Brentwood tomorrow. Cheers, Top mate. Man.